Hasta la vista, comrade. The future of Russian artificial intelligence is here. And it can dual wield handguns. Nope. The final experimental demonstration object research robot, or Federer for short, is capable of accurately firing two pistols at the same time. Come 2021, Moscow expects to see Fedor models aboard the ISS and helping cosmonauts tackle space missions. The machine can operate automatically or can be controlled by a human. Initially developed for rescue operations, Russia hopes to use Fedor for military and educational purposes as well. Russia's deputy prime minister tweeted footage of the robot shooting guns in April. He said they're not making a Terminator, but artificial intelligence. Well, that's a relief, right? Uh, right? Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Into robots, androids, automata, and all things mechanical? Then stay tuned for more. The U.S. has a robot warship that can hunt enemy submarines. The Department of Defense is reportedly home to many a robotic contraption these days, but they've all got nothing on this bad boy. The Sea Hunter is an autonomous drone designed primarily to track enemy submarines that are equipped with quiet electric diesel engines. It is currently being tested by the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. Unveiled in April 2016, the 40-meter vessel can travel at 31 miles per hour. It has no armaments. Its design resembles a Polynesian outrigger canoe. This helps it navigate the ocean and handle challenging 6-meter high waves. Advanced software and hardware allow it to operate autonomously around other vessels and remain at sea for months at a time. The testing period is set to finish in 2018. If it's successful, it will be handed over to the U.S. Navy. NASA develops small origami-inspired robot. Future rovers sent to do some interplanetary exploration could have some tiny scouts along for the ride. NASA has designed an origami-inspired robot built to reach terrains and fit into places larger rovers cannot access. The Pop-Up Flat Folding Explorer Robot, or Puffer, is being developed at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. The robot has two wheels that can be folded over the body, which allow the mini rover to crawl in addition to roll. The puffer also has a tail for stability and comes equipped with a high-resolution camera. It has solar panels on its belly and can flip over when its batteries need to recharge. The robot can climb up inclines of up to 45 degrees, investigate overhangs, and be dropped into pits or craters. The puffer can travel on a level dirt path for about 2,050 feet on one battery charge. The tiny scout robots are meant to accompany larger rovers and can be flattened like cards and stacked one on top of the other. Developers are now planning to add scientific instruments and give the puffer autonomous capabilities. The robot is currently controlled remotely via Bluetooth. Future designs may also increase the size of the puffer for added durability. This cargo robot may become your best grocery shopping partner. Scooter manufacturer Vespa has created a robot that can follow you around and carry your things for you. Jita is 26 inches tall and can carry up to 40 pounds of cargo in its compartment. It can travel at bicycle-like speeds of up to 22 miles per hour. Users wear a white belt that is equipped with a forward-facing camera. Jita is connected to the belt by sensors. It relies on simultaneous localization and mapping technology, as well as the camera system to create a map of its surroundings. Jita can then make a trip to the same location by itself using the map that it created. The robot will be officially launched in the U.S. on February 2nd. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Robot food delivery hitting streets in San Francisco. A startup company in partnership with Yelp's Eat24 is experimenting with robot deliveries in two districts of San Francisco. Delivery robots are equipped with LiDAR, ultrasonic sensors, and cameras. One device is as big as a mobility scooter and stands at about average waist height. Users can choose to use the robot delivery service while placing orders through an app. A PIN code will be given to the user to unlock the robot's cargo compartment. 
After delivery, the robot will automatically return to headquarters or another restaurant. The startup company says the robot can be used to deliver groceries, pharmaceutical products, and parcels in the future. Tech is taking over. All around the world, machines are slowly taking up tasks once reserved for humans. In the hospitality industry, customer service and satisfaction is the end game, and what better to cater to your needs than an inexhaustible programmable automaton? Hotels in the future could be entirely staffed by machines, starting with realistic-looking cyborgs welcoming guests at the front desk. Checking in will be done via a self-service kiosk, which includes facial authentication for keyless entry. A robot-operated cloakroom will be available for guests who need to store or retrieve belongings. Instead of a bellhop, an electric porter will carry luggage while leading the way to the guest's room. Smart room controls detect motion and adjust lighting and temperature accordingly. Items may be bought or requested and will be delivered directly to the rooms. With a phone call notifying guests that their items have arrived. Room controls could also be programmed to provide wake-up calls. Smart window displays could be incorporated to provide guests with information relevant to their trip. Likewise, robots will be in charge of housekeeping, tidying up rooms quickly and efficiently. Soon, even meals will be prepared by programmable robot arms and then served by robotic waiters. A robot concierge will also be on hand 24-7 to answer guests' questions and help with booking and arrangements. Fully automated hotels may not be too far off. Japan already has the Hena Hotel in Nagasaki, with more on the way. Of course, not everyone is on board with the idea, as some argue the loss of human interaction may have an impact on overall customer satisfaction. What do you think?